everyone, today I've got a quick little tip for you that I find handy all the time. Have you ever had a piece of aluminum that you wanted to accurately bend, but you didn't really have an easy way to do it, and it was either too thick or just too hard to bend? I'm going to show you a quick little trick on how to anneal aluminum by softening it, making it a whole lot easier to bend, and all you need is a torch and a bar of soap. Alright, I got two little pieces here that I cut. They are very, very similar in size and they're both, I'd say, a good eighth of an inch thick. And this stuff can be kind of hard to bend by hand. Maybe if you got a one of the, the brakes or something, you could bend this easily. But with aluminum this thick, a lot of times I try bending it and a problem I have is it tries to crack on me. And that's just not work if you're wanting something to be strong. So let me show you how to anneal this and make it softer so you can bend it. But first, let's try bending one of these without annealing it and see what happens. Here we are at the vise. And I'm going to put this piece eh, just a little bit down into the vise. And we'll tighten it down. And we'll see what it's like to bend it by hand. And this is, hasn't been touched, it has not been annealed, so let's see what happens. I can tell you right now, it's very... Ugh. Ugh. Very hard to bend. That was pretty hard to do. Let's take it out and see how it looks. Got kind of a... You know, not, not a very good bend. Say I wanted that to be a little square. Let's try a piece annealing it. And let's see how, if it's any easier to bend, and if it bends any better. Alright, with my soap on the back side that I'm heating, I'm going to start just heating this with the torch. It's just regular propane torch, something such as a map gas, or a acetylene torch would be ten times better. This might take just a few minutes. got it at the right temperature and see how the soap on the back has turned black and burnt that's when this is at the right temperature now you can either let this air cool or you can go quench it in some water either way it does not matter just for speed sake right now I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna put it in some water real quick and I'll be right back now my piece is cooled off let's put it in the vise and let's see what kind of difference it makes bending it That, I must say, was probably about half the effort it took to bend the other one. And then let's take it out. The bends are similar, but what I would do in a case like this, I'd almost work it with a hammer. But uh, it was so much easier to bend and less of a chance of it cracking. If this was a large piece or even a thicker piece of aluminum, you can bend like this. Matter of fact, just for giggles, let's see if we can bend it again. Super easy to bend. It's, a, it's amazing how soft that makes the aluminum and how easy it bends. Now, aluminum will work harden. So as you bend it, if you bend it in the same spot multiple times, it will harden back up and you will have to anneal it again. It just, it bends so easy. I couldn't do that with this piece. This piece would probably honestly break if I tried straightening it out. Let's just see what it'll take. See there? It broke. This piece, I bent it three times and it did not break. So that's where annealing comes into play. And it works really, really good. So if you're working with any kind of sheet aluminum or anything like that, give us a try. If you've got something you want to bend and you want to bend it real easy and accurately, yeah, just bar soap and a torch, and that's all you need. So I hope you found this video 
useful, and I hope it's something you can use. And until next time, I'll see you later.